Hey everybody, uh, I'd like to show you this fascinating problem um, I'm having with a scope I got off eBay. This is a Type 564B analog storage oscilloscope. Um, it's made by Tektronix in the 60s. Uh, it has a really cool um, analog storage CRT, uh, but that's not what we're going to worry about right now. Um, I got the scope and uh, I got it for $25. It came with this 3A6 uh, dual trace amplifier and a 3B4 time base um, installed. And after blowing a lot of, out a lot of dirt and cleaning up uh, the switches a little bit, I turned it on and lo and behold I get a trace. Uh, now I've run through all of this um, and I found this one really interesting problem that we'll need fixing. Uh, and it is this. So we can see um, right now we're triggering on channel 2 and we're in auto trigger mode. Um, you know the the uh, time base seems to work. It's probably not calibrated, but um, it works like I would expect it to. But we have this really neat problem where if you um, move the position on the trace that we're looking at towards the center of the screen, uh, we see the sweeping stop, right? If we move it a little lower, sweeping continues again. Uh, likewise, if we move the, uh, that's, that knob right there. If we likewise, if we move the uh, position on the time base, uh, if we get it to stop again, move the position on the time base, we can sort of force it through that point where it wants to stop. Um, that means that the magnifier function also makes this behavior stop. So, if you that's switching the uh, magnifier on. Uh, so, um, I also checked this. Don't uh, don't rig this up at home, but, uh, <laughs> unless you, um, are me, but, uh, if we use the external, uh, voltage input to the time base, let me switch it down to that, uh, you'll see that dot stop, that's supposed to happen, um, and then adjust the volts per division, and, uh, right now I've rigged up a power supply that, uh, zero to 20 volt supply into that, uh, that horizontal input, you can, sweep that dot through its little trouble spot. Um, you can do that with the horizontal input. So all this together uh, gives me some suspicion as to what might be wrong with this device and I'm going to try and fix it. Okay, uh, wish me luck.